Okay, hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. I'm delighted to be joined by Shamrock Rovers, Gary O'Neill. Gary, uh, we're here for the FC24. I have to make sure I, I check that now when I'm saying it. I'm not used to it. Um, just firstly, at Rovers, are you a big FIFA player or traditionally have you been? I'm not, no. I would have, uh, I would have grown up playing a lot of FIFA over the last number of years. Uh, don't play FIFA at all, really. I think the, the big hitters in the team that didn't watch Jack Bourne and, and Aaron Green are, are big into it. I think... I have to get a free copy here this morning, so I might try and see, see how it goes. <laughs> what's uh, what's um, what's it called? Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation Five, yeah, PlayStation. Console was the word. Yeah, I was, it was escaped me there for a second. Um, yeah, all right, okay. Um, well, talk to me about this season. Uh, I think people have been writing Shamrock Rovers off all season, and there's games where you have gone out expected to lose to the public, and you won, and maybe the other way around. Dropping points. Yeah. Um, what's the season been kind of like in, in your own view? Yeah, I think it's been a, a bit of a strange old season. It's gone for everyone. I think uh, from my own perspective, my own output, I think that the teams in the low half of the season this year have been a lot more competitive than previous seasons. Uh, obviously, you see over the last this year, especially uh, we haven't obviously when you, when you look at the bottom three, we've obviously dropped points to UCD the other night, and we have only beaten Cork once out of the three, and we haven't beaten Drogheda yet out of the three games. So, from my own point of view I think uh, from that perspective I think the, the, the bottom half of things have been really really competitive and I think uh, that's just not for Shamrock Rovers alone I think you know you look at Monday night obviously I watched the game myself and I thought they were full deserving of their win over Pats and that's just the way the season's gone this season uh, obviously for us we've we've left a lot of points behind but luckily enough when we have I think the Chase and Pack have seemed to, to leave them behind as well. Yeah because you, you look everybody I was just saying to keep word there uh, Dundalk that uh, everybody just seems to be beating everybody you know shells are rising all of a sudden now and you know bows have been going strong all season there you've kind of like yourselves maybe a bit yeah. in and out but you're still picking up results um, I suppose that's that's a compliment almost in the sense of how good Shamrock Rovers are and have been that even though you probably haven't performed to the best of your levels that you're still where you are Yeah definitely um, if you would offer us to be five points ahead with five games to go and three then being in Tala at the start of the season I think he would have bitten anyone's hand off for it um, so we've left ourselves in a, in a really really good position to go and go and create history again And um, but listen it's five uh, really really difficult games for us especially you know coming off the back of two draws is we, we want to put Put, uh, put things right on Friday night and that's starting with Shelburne it's a, it's a massive three points for us Yeah well just on, on the actual running, like you, you have the perfect squad to be able to handle that pressure. I mean, you you, you have so many experienced players that have won leagues um, over the years with Hamilton Rovers and with other clubs that you would expect. Um, it's not a formality, but you would expect would help you get over that line. Yeah, I think it's a massive thing um, in the running. I think of, for me over the last three years, you know, you, you kind of lean on the, them lads' experience. Obviously, it's an, I've probably become maybe one of them lads now with, with three in my back pocket, but you know the first and the second and the cup final and the cup final of course. But you're you're looking at the likes of Ronan Finn and you know Sean Gannon, who was obviously the most decorated player in, in the history of the game and in, in in our league. And you know you lean on them people, so I'm sure that there'll be players in our in our change room now that would be looking to lean on, on others. And and it's uh, it's about coming together and getting this club over the line again. Yeah, I mean, you just you know, and obviously I would imagine in, in your point of view. A strong end to the season is to win the league and then next season again push on but maybe have a bit more in Europe obviously the European run wasn't what, what you would have wanted at all and I know Stephen as well and he would have been very disappointed with that and considering the conference league and what an experience that would have been the year previous you know yeah definitely exactly like you say just to touch on the last bit there it's a uh Probably the biggest killer for us this year was that we had a taste of it last year. So, you know, you, you really want to get back. And I think we are probably in a better position this year to maybe have a bit more of a crack off the groups than we did last year because of our squad. I think with the run in the way it was going last year, a few European games we had to kind of prioritise the league game that was coming up on the Sunday. And I think this year with the squad that we have, we would have been in a better position to maybe attack the group games a bit more. But unfortunately, listen, that's just football. Obviously, it's, you know, you see it everywhere. It's... Uh, wouldn't say to look at a draw. I just don't think we over the two legs we did enough to to beat the the team from Iceland. I thought they they were better than us over the two legs, and unfortunately left us in a bit uh, difficult position with the the champions of Hungary then in the next round. And you know that's your European campaign over for another year, unfortunately. But yeah, it's it's a bit of a bitter taste, obviously. But it's listen, it's done now. And it's, 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 mm. uh, is that what you kind of? Oh, sorry, is that, um, is that what you kind of look at now? Is like that's your target now is to be reaching those levels again, like you were. 
and then you look at Dundalk, even the Europa League, I think it was the year before or the year before that. It's just those nights and, you know, games, being able to play like here and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I mean, as a footballer, I suppose that's what you want. Ah, yeah, it's a massive incentive and I spoke to Alemanis two years ago. Uh, I think he was ready to retire the, the following year, but he's saying that the only thing he's never done in his career is, is a is a group stage in Europe and he, and he really wanted to do it. He had left uh, Rovers when they went on and done it that year. and. You know, so and Alan was 39 at the time, so it's not something that you can ever take for granted. Um, so to, to have a taste of it last year, it's it's just left a, you know, a real a real hunger in, in the group to you know to really want to go and do it again. And there's lads in our in our change room now that have never done it. So it's uh, it's the best nights I think in, in in the calendar. You know, the the group stage on a Thursday is a great buzz around the place, and then. Luckily enough for a club like Shamrock Rovers, you seem to be fighting for you know something then again on the Sunday and it's just a great time of year, you're just rolling into big games to big games and that's where you want to be as a player. Yeah, I suppose like from your own point of view, I, I, it sounds like you know what you're going to do now to, to finish off the season and um, then push on again next season. Yeah, definitely. It's it's a massive incentive, obviously, what we have it this year. You know, it's it's so, so important for us to get back on that podium again. I think when, when you have success over the last number of years, it becomes a pressure then and you know, you with pressure becomes expectations and expectations. But winning becomes a habit too. Of course it does. And expectation is uh, is to get back on the podium again this year and it's going to be the same again next year. It's, uh, for me, I'm obviously disappointed that I won't be coming out here on uh, on the first week of uh, November for a cup final as well. That's another thing that we left behind us. So it's, you know, another goal for us again next year is, is, to, is to do a double, something that we haven't done yet uh, while I've been at Rover. So it's, uh, it's a, a lot to, you know, it's, it's not as if the, the hunger is going to dry up if we win the lead this year. It's a, there's a lot more still to be done. Mm. Absolutely. Well, listen, I won't keep you any longer. It's freezing, Pleasure. it's cold, it's raining, and I want to let you get home. Pleasure. So thanks very much for your time. Appreciate I'll speak it. to you soon, right? Pleasure. Gentlemen.